Hi, I'm Dan. I work at Xperia, and this is a quick little intro into uh, what the differences are between your local and remote repository in Git. So, you've got the remote, which is where the servers are hosted, GitHub, Bitbucket, uh, and then local. Uh, it's important to know that all the all the operations you do when you're working in your working directory are against the local uh, repository. Your commits, um, any any of those branching operations all happen locally. The only way that things make it to the server is through a push. So it's important to know that uh, when you're committing, when you're committing into branches here, you are actually committing all the stuff locally to your to your local repository. If you want any of this to be seen by anybody else, you have to issue a git push. That will push all of your local changes up to the, uh, to the server and allow people to see those changes. Um, another thing to know is that when server changes happen on this end and you have a branch that you pushed previously, if you want to make sure that you're up to date on that, you need to make sure you do a pull. Pulls can often reach, uh, pulls will basically clone what's on the remote repository into your local repository and allow you to be up to date with the, what's on there. So th that's the difference between the re remote and local repositories. There is a third uh, pull-like operation called fetch. The difference between a pull and a fetch is a pull will actually merge into your local working repository the changes that come from the server. A fetch will simply fetch the latest branches and information from the remote to the local without affecting your working repository. So that's a quick little introduction about the differences between a remote and local Git repositories.